stop, it's stuck in you. And you're like, eh. <laughs> I know, it's kind of gross. And now, now, really, it's like nine to midnight, a special time for mom and a dad, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Three hours to wash dishes, you know what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing better. And you know, what's funny is, uh, you know, we're doing the dishes, we're cleaning everything up, and then, then real special time happens. You go into the bedroom, you lay down, and uh, you have plenty of time to look at your phone for the rest of the night, you know? <laughs> I'm lying next to the most beautiful woman in the world, and I'm looking at cat videos on <laughs> YouTube. Honey, look at this cat! It's playing an organ. <laughs> I know the saints come hard to get. How does it do that? <laughs> now, this, these are kind of creepy, the phones. I mean, uh, I love my phone, but I'm also kind of creeped out by what's going on with it because now I, I, I will admit to you, I do have a Facebook addiction. I like to, you know, be that guy who goes, oh, what's going on? I check in with everybody. But you know, when you're laying in bed at night, you're like, oh, look what they had for dinner. That looks better than what we had. <laughs> Okay, I'll go in this room. <laughs> you know, and it's interesting that as you're laying there, you're thinking, hey, wait a minute, I, this is kind of a creepy situation. All of a sudden, I feel kind of like a mix between George McFly and Clay Aiken, you know, like sitting in the tree, like, if I was invisible, I would just watch you in your room. And that's kind of what Facebook is. It's kind of a gross prospect. And, and then, you know, I think about who's watching me. You know, if I'm, the, if I'm like a normal, well, I'm not normal, but if I'm like a kind of normal guy, who's, all, who's watching me out there? I don't know, maybe some creep. He's just like. Every breath you take, everything you say, common string you break, every photo you take, I'll be stalking you. And you're like, eh. I know, it's kind of gross. And then there are people, I know, that was too much to clap. Don't, don't clap. That was, you guys are like, wait a minute. That went really dark really fast. <laughs> there are, you know, there are times when I'm like, am I getting jealous of people's lives? You know, like what's happening on their thing? And I'm going, I'm looking at my phone like, wait a minute. What? That's not. Some nights I lie awake and look at Cause I could use some friends for a change Yeah, some nights I'm scared You won't get about me again I should not get Facebook after midnight So come on You went to Trader Joe's without me? You had dinner without me? You went to TJ Maxx without me? I mean, that's kind of what you start to become And then you start worrying about yourself and what's going on Hey guys, ready? Time. My daughter said, Daddy, you're looking a little gray. I said, it's your fault. <clears throat> you were a puking machine, you kept no diaper clean. You were the cutest little woman I'd ever seen. With your small baby size and your newborn cries. You were cute because you had daddy's eyes. Taking more than your share, ripped out chunks of my hair. Didn't even matter, man, I didn't even care. Because the woman to start this, isn't it? <laughs> ACDC, awesome. Yeah, I am a dad and I love being a dad. I mean, I perform all over the world, running all around the place, but I'm a dad first. Husband and father, that's what it's about. <laughs> my kids give me all my material. <laughs> See, we had four and five years, so. People wonder why I'm a naturally angry man all of a sudden. <laughs> but there's just something that happens when you have four 
kids in five years. Obviously, my wife did, you know, everything about that, but I was just sort of there. But I'm just telling you, my, my family, my life with my kids is awesome. But the challenge with these little ones, when they're little, you know, your, your whole goal is just to not mess them up, to not have them go to jail someday. That's the only real goal that I have in this life as a dad at this point. That's it. You know, I mean, I don't want them to be entitled. I don't want them to be that way like we see kids becoming now. And so I guess I'm that dad. The patient one who sounds angry. I will wait, I will wait for you. Please find your shoes. Where's your jacket? I will wait, I will wait for you. We're in the car. We're finally leaving you here alone. I will wait, I will wait for you. Please find your homework. We worked on it all night. And I will wait, I will wait for you. Please kneel down. It's time for the prayer. And I will wait, I will wait for you. Please just eat something. And I will wait, I will wait for you. I learned. I know, <laughs> oh, isn't that bizarre? Isn't that true, though? That's just what we go through with these little kids, and I love them more than anything. They're the best part of my life, I mean, truly. I'm, I talk about them, and every talk that I give as a speaker and every show I perform as a performer because they inspire me, they make me better. I mean, when my kids, when I'm, when I'm home, my wife's like, it's your turn now, it's your turn <laughs> to put them to bed and to take care of this night, your, your, your turn. And I'm like, oh yeah, you, I got it. Because she is, if anyone knows my wife, she's Wonder Woman, that is for sure. I know, oh yeah. You might have read about her at the Target post that I wrote years ago. But she is Wonder Woman. And the thing is, is when I come home, I go, yeah, I got it, you just, you go. And then, but I call her Wonder Woman because I'm like, I wonder where she went. <laughs> I wonder if she's coming back. I, <laughs> I wonder if we're eating cereal for dinner every night from now on, I guess. Very sorry <laughs> the ability I have with that, children. But my kids, you know, I go, so what do we do for, uh, for bedtime, guys? And they go, we, we do Daddy Dinosaur. Go, Daddy Dinosaur, what do you mean? And they're like, do the dinosaur, Daddy. Daddy Dinosaur, Daddy. Now, some dads, they're so tired after a day of work. They're not committed to the bit. You know, they come home and their kid's like, do the dinosaur, and they're like, oh, I love you, you love me. Oh. <laughs> My kids, if I do that, they're upset because they know I can give much more. They know that I'm committed 100% to the bit. So they go, Daddy, do the dinosaur. I'm like, you sure you want the Velociraptor Jurassic Park kitchen scene? Are you sure you want that? Like, yeah, Daddy, do it. I'm like, after me, not mom, they're just... <laughs> I say, okay, brush your teeth. I'll be right back. This is a bad idea when your kids are 10 and under. You know, next thing you know, they're up there just putting toothpaste. They're, uh, they turn into Monet and Picasso and they're, you know, they're, uh, <laughs> they're putting it on the mirror like, <laughs> red rum, red. 
The dentist is like, you know, what's going on with these kids' teeth? Because you know? all they're doing is putting the toothpaste everywhere else. Then <laughs> I go, okay, guys, what do we do next? And they're like, okay, we, uh, we say a prayer, and then we sing a song. I go, oh, okay, uh, prayer, yeah. Who wants to say it? My son, my, my son is, I, I mean, we have, we have a daughter, the oldest, Ella, and then the boys. Redford Romney Royal. So these are very beautiful children. I go, who wants to say it? Redford's like, I'll say it, I'll say it. You know, and when, you're, when they're under the age of 10, what happens is the second that you tell a perfectly healthy little boy to say a prayer, all of a sudden he gets an allergic reaction to something he didn't have <laughs> before he offered to say the prayer. So he's like, <clears throat> about safety. They think we're going to die in every prayer. Bless, we won't die tonight. And please bless that if there's a fire, we'll get out in time. Maybe that was a little exaggerated, but it's kind of like that. My jacket's ruined now. I'm rubbing it on the floor. Like... I love these kids because they inspire me. They make me, they make me laugh. They're so funny. They do these prayers like that. You're like, right on, that was cool. That was exactly what you're worried about. So that's how you're supposed to do that. Good job. Then I go, what do we do now? They're like, a scary thong. Sing a scary thong, daddy. Kids are so funny, they think they want something scary. They don't know what's coming. You know, they don't know what I'm capable of, you know? <laughs> like, I'm gonna scare them. Like, I'm committed to that opportunity if they're asking. <laughs> you know? like, I think a scary thong. And I'm like, I think I saw a scary thong at the Hilton pool the other day. Uh, <laughs> it's a European guy. No, no, no. Song. Oh, yeah, scary song, not a thong. I know, everyone's like, that was gross. I know, so that, I just took it from a G to like a G7, okay. <laughs> Whatever that was, I don't know what this G7 is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they're like, I think it's a scary song. And, and as a dad, your goal is to sing a scary enough song that they're not gonna ask again, you know? You're not, I mean, you, you, you want them to be fun, but you also want to scare them into not wanting it. So I'm like, I'm doing the scariest kid song I can think of. I'm like, boys and ghouls of every age, oh, would you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see. It's the time of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Some can scream in the dead of night. And they're like, that is that's not scary. <laughs> it's a scary song. Scariest song I could think of for my kids was one when I was in high school. I thought if I ever have kids, this would be an interesting song to sing to them. It was a bad idea, bad choice. 
Uh, but I went for it because I'm committed to the bit. <laughs> Do you remember Metallica? That idea. Oh, man. scared now <laughs> I don't know what happened I was like hey good night <laughs> get it out like us <laughs> I'm like it's okay there's nothing wrong daddy daddy I'm scared I'm like just don't look under your bed <laughs> <laughs> Good night, my sweet ones. <laughs> so it's going to be expensive someday for me. Uh, I can't make money telling about it now, but it's gonna go to a lot of other stuff someday. So thank you for laughing. <laughs> What's fascinating is that I come downstairs after putting the kids to bed, these beautiful little angels, and the next thing I hear, it sounds like they're doing gymnastics up there. And I'm like... Stop! Alexa! Alexa, how my children go to bed? <laughs> Alexa! Actually, for this show, because it's being recorded, that would be so funny if I'm like, Alexa, stop! <laughs> End of show, it's over, it's over. <laughs> Alexa, Brian Regan, better show! All right. I think what's fascinating too is that all my kids have a device now. They all do. They demand it or they will leave us. <laughs> We're not even teenagers. They're like, we will leave if we don't get the iPhone 7 and an Apple Watch. So my kids have an iPhone, an iPod, an iPad, and uh, they're like iKids now, you know? I'm like, what's going on with my children? And I, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to do normal, everyday things in my house and function as... <laughs> it went from dark to light. Okay, that was better. That was better, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> I think everybody, though, is infested with this kind of... This, this thing that's happening to all of us. We can't just go anywhere and just do something and be present. We have to have some proof of what happened. Every, every one of us is guilty of what I'm about to do. You know what I'm talking about? It goes like this. Hey, selfie, I'm so fun. I'm so fun, I blow my mind. Hey, selfie. Hey, selfie. Hey, selfie, I'm so fun. I'm so fun, I blow my mind. Hey, selfie. Oh, selfie, you know most people don't understand. A picture's not Unless you take it with one hand. All right, no, that's stupid. All right, that's, that wouldn't make any sense at all. All right, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was disturbing. Okay, so my wife and I are in bed. 
Now, we're laying there. I, we pass out, obviously, because, you know, you're looking at your phone. And uh, you, you know you're a parent if you dream about sleeping. And, and uh, we finally... <laughs> Finally thinking that we're asleep, like, I think I'm asleep. <laughs> like, I'm thinking like it feels like we might be asleep. And then all of a sudden there's that sound. You know that sound, it's, my leg. <laughs> my leg, help. <laughs> now when we hear this sound from the children upstairs, my wife and I begin a game uh, that we've never named, but it's, it's called I Can't Hear. <laughs> and we're playing this psychological warfare, like, we don't even have to talk, but I'm like, I gotta get up in the morning, I gotta work in the morning, I gotta go in the morning. And she's like, I gotta get up in the morning, I gotta take him to school, I gotta wake up the food. And we're like, have the and we never say one word. We're just... All of a sudden, I realize she wins the game of wits, you know? I'm like, inconceivable. And I get up, you know? I go upstairs, she's in the bed, I look back, she's fist bumping. Yeah, I got her. <laughs> wow, she's impressive. I, I can't stand the children crying. And so I walk up, what's wrong, buddy, what's wrong? He's like, oh, my leg. I don't know what happened, my leg hurts. And I go, did, you, did somebody kick you or to hurt you? No, I just started hurting in the middle of the night. You're gonna die. And I'm like, Okay, okay, well, what do we do? I pick him up, I bring him downstairs. And I'm like, what do we do? And he goes, Mommy always uses the oils. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Uh, I set him on the kitchen counter, you know, I'm like, uh, canola, olive oil, <laughs> extra virgin. I'm like, Is this helping? Am I making an egg on your leg? <laughs> Like, no, that's not the right one. I'm like, what child is this? There's frankincense and myrrh. I'm like, what am I doing? He's like, Daddy robbed oil. <laughs> My wife goes, get the, there's the essential oils, like the stuff in the bath. So I go in there and I'm like, which one? She goes, doTERRA, uh, you know, essential oils or the young living, doesn't matter. We, we don't decide these things. We just <laughs> buy them all. <laughs> Oh, you need us to sign up for your thing? Yeah, well, come on over, come on up. Here's my credit card, you need a... So we got all these oils. I go, what do I use? She's like, a peppermint, peppermint, birch, peppermint, whatever. I'm like, okay, so I get the peppermint. I go, son, is this better? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Just because it smells. He's like, oh yeah, that smells better. That's better. That's better. That's better. <laughs> That's the one. That's one. Just because it smells good. Oh. <laughs> and I go, hey, why don't you just take this peppermint up to your bedroom and put it on when it hurts yourself? And he's like, yeah, I'll do that. He goes upstairs, yeah. I go lie down. Ah, finally got to sleep. And then all of a sudden I hear that. Why I gonna... Oil. Put the oil on it. He's like... Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Doterra, Young Living, make me know what they can put in their eye. That would be very helpful. My son screaming. Now I'm the bad guy. Now I'm in trouble. I hear that sound, though. That sound of the crying. I kind of feel like Adele, you know? I'm like... There's a child crying from the star. Reaching a fever pitch coming from out the dark. Finally I could, I was in the clear. Go ahead and yell again, you're not sleeping in here. You know, it's like, no, no, not going here. <laughs> How many of you have little, little babies or remember when they were little? How many of you? A couple of you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right on. Good memories. Or just like, <laughs> we escaped tonight. All right. 
uh, these little kids, these, when they're babies, they have one thing that will pacify them. If you lose it, you have got to go in search of it. There's a little dedication to the babies and the dads in search of it. I hear my boy cry. She's up on that saying, hun, he can't just suck on his thumb. You better go find that binky. It's probably under his crib or strapped right under his bib. It's your fault we had a kid. You better go find that binky. I'm up all night, was that binky? I'm up all night, was that binky? Just stuck my hand, some stinky. Where in the heck is that thing? Anybody else? I guess you've probably done that. Oh, God. Oh yeah, and you know, getting older, getting father time catching up to you. It's fun being a dad, obviously, but it's also like, I'm now really getting old, it's weird. You know, and I, I see these, or I hear the music that I used to like, I see the artists that I used to do impressions of, like uh, like Ricky Martin, one of my favorites, I used to do an impression of him, and, uh, and you know, for all nine months of his career, I got to do that, <laughs> and then, but, you know, I love the guy because he's a dad now, and I think, well, he's probably had to change some of the words to his songs because it just wouldn't work, especially if he did his kid's backyard birthday party. Might go something like this. Put your right hand in and then you take your right hand out. You put your right hand in can you shake it all about? Oh, that's what it's all about. Come on, upside, inside, out. I'm doing the hokey pokey. This will hang you out. I'm doing the hokey pokey. Uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't make sense, but what did it have to do with that? My daughter, my daughter is really the one that holds me accountable. You know, if I say something inappropriate, like if I'm too mad, if I say something that she doesn't like, uh, she wouldn't necessarily, she hasn't sung this song to me, but I thought when I heard it for the first time, this would be exactly what she could sing to me to make sure that I understand what she's feeling as a little girl. She took my arm. Sat me down and she said, You know you can't say that, not in this family, even though you're the dad. Shut up, it's a party word to me. Little woman said it straight to me. She said, Ooh, ooh shut up, it's a party word to me. That's right. <laughs> she came up to me in, uh, a couple years back and she goes, Daddy. My favorite singer is Lady Gaga. No. <laughs> That's not allowed, you can't. Uh, she said, my favorite. What do these lyrics mean? I said, no. I don't know, actually, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I thought, wouldn't it be cool if Lady Gaga did one song for my daughter? Like one song for a kid. How cool would that be? That's not her market. But if she did, it might sound something like this.
You'll never hear that song the same again. <laughs> You'll be able to dance like... <laughs> and he's like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Very awkward. As I'm getting older, I'm getting fatter, as you can see. I've been doing the P90X, uh, which obviously I, I only lost 90 days in that. But I... <laughs> that is such a dumb joke, but it's true. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, this is helping. As my body's falling apart, everything's falling apart. My hair is falling out. That's why I grew a beard and I look nothing like the pictures you've seen. You know, I come out, they're like, is that his grandpa? Yeah, and so it's like, I got glasses now. I finally gave in to father time. You know, I'm like, I need the glasses. And they're like, oh, that's too bad. It changes up your look. I'm like, Clark Kent, you know. And, I'm, <laughs> and so, it's like, so father time's taking over. My body's falling apart. My hair is falling out. When it first started to fall out, I went to the doctor because, you know, that's what you do. Your hair falls out. I mean, like, my hair fell out and it fell in the sink, and I'm like, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. I'm a performer. This can't happen to me. And then all of a sudden, I was like, well, if I comb it like this, and if I comb it like that, oh, it's hard to believe that it's not coming back, you know? <laughs> like Michael Bolton told me. I'm in denial, though. As sad as it is, starts to fall out. Doctor gives me the prescription. He says, don't let your wife touch this medication. It's that strong. Like, it's like the guy, like, don't pour water on it or feed it after midnight. You know? <laughs> she touches it. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Um, no, the gremlin's all over now. <laughs> Did you touch my hair pill? <laughs> She's all, oh, no! You know? <laughs> this stuff is so powerful. But the thing is, is my hair didn't just fall out. It, like, it fell out and landed, you know? And stayed in places I didn't want it or need it, you know? Like I wake up one day, I'm all, hello. And it's like, hi. Huh? When did you get here? Oh, I'm here for the rest of your life. Is, is there anyone else? Oh man, now before, if I even want to go to the pool with the kids, I have to do like a, a real shave session. You know what I'm talking about. If you're a hairy guy, yeah, I, I, every single six weeks I put a trash bag in a circle in my bathroom and I'm like... I'm like, I have a family here on the... And it's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's eternal love. <laughs> what if I go jump in the pool, you know, with the kids, and I miss a spot, you know? I'm like, hey, guys, hey, daddy's here. <laughs> and they're like, yay! <laughs> Daddy, what's on your shoulder? It's a spider! I'm like... It's uh, seaweed, kids. I brought my own seaweed under the sea, under the sea. Daddy looks better wearing this sweater. And they're like, no, no, you're scaring me. <laughs> I did a cruise ship uh, performance. That was fascinating to go somewhere where I was the fittest person. Uh, I was. Very... <laughs> I'm walking around like. Checking their pulse. Are you still alive? It was so awesome. But you know, and as you get as you get older, you 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 start to notice all the other old people around you, the middle age, and then the a little bit older than that. 
and I'm looking at these guys, and there's like the hairiest guy in the world comes sits down next to me. He's got like a Brillo pad all over his arms, and I'm like, why didn't you take care of that before? No, 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 and he's getting in the tub. <sighs> Like, hey, while you're rubbing against that, why don't you just wash the whole thing? <laughs> and so I wrote this next one for that guy. I hope you remember Justin Timberlake's. This is my version. This is our old buddy, Chewbacca. Do you remember this guy? Yeah, here we go. I've got a hairy back. I bet you didn't want to know that You think you're special, never shave your back Don't turn around if girls are hard or tired Drink to the beach, Harry Wood You go out town and always bring a book You know the chicks are gonna always look They find you in the food when you good. Cashmere, you know, two sweaters come in. Be neck, you know, don't let him go. Shade that back, don't let him go. Wax that back. This is your. That's it, Chewbacca. Wow. Oh, man. But as old as I'm getting, I'm grateful for life. I'm grateful because I can make people smile with something so bizarre, and thank you for being here tonight, a fun audience. I appreciate you making time to be here. I love, like I said, being a dad. I love making people smile. I love making fun of myself as I'm getting older because I see performers that are still doing it, and I'm like, they're like 100, you know? Like Led Zeppelin, they're still performing, nearing 100. It's like, okay. Now, if Robert Plant were here tonight, There'd be a lot more people, it'd be a better show, but here's the thing. If you're here tonight, it might go something like this, even though Father Time hasn't yet taken over. Someone help me up the stairs. 